podcast here on a uh, checks the calendar Wednesday on it's a, a Wednesday. Wednesday. It's a weird time. Do you have a watch on that? No, that you just had. No, no, okay. No, I do All not. Right. I do not. But that is okay. I am Max Simpson. I'm joined by. Mr. Owen Evans, how are we doing, buddy? I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. I think we actually, before we get on to anything important, I do think we've got some uh, an intervention here from our very own, the stat lackey, uh, Mr. Reese. Uh, Mr. Reese, can you... Uh, what is... Hang on a minute. Don't Let's do see. This. Let's oh. see. Reese, Reese, no, they can't see you, so you're going to have to migrate over there and uh, make your vocal announcement, please. Just, is... just steal, the, steal the headset quickly and tell the... I think he's just broken what he's trying to put on his head. but. poor audio. Uh, I, I, we'll push it. Okay, uh, Reese, what is it again you're going to do now for us all? I'm going to sing for Max. Oh, he's going to sing for Max? <laughs> all right. Here we go, Max. Come on, you got to sing with me, even though it's your birthday. Uh, Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Mr. Simpson. Happy birthday to you. Woo! Don't make a noise. It just kind of no, blows up. No, I just out. didn't want to get you, in, the, you, in you, the face with it. Would you like a hat, Max? Oh, yeah. There you go. Have a hat, mate. Yeah. I, wear it like, I wear it like a unicorn. There we go. Always mm-hmm. have. Always will. Going to wear it like a unicorn. Let's hey, go. you have one of these as well. Yeah. This is awful audio. <laughs> As I said, it is, it's, it's very entertaining video. Very poor. You're listening on audio. We look like freaking dinosaurs with these colored hats on. Are they dinosaur themed? I don't know. I don't know, but they kind of look like some dinosaurs. Um, well, I, I, I'll be honest. They were very, very cheap. <laughs> no, hey, they work. They work. Um, they do the job. Well, they do the well, job. Well, thank you, gents. That's very kind of you. Uh, ben News, Bluebird. Is Max too busy eating his birthday cake? I'm not having any birthday cake yet uh, do you feel old yet mate do i feel old i always feel a little bit older but oh. that's normal because well you're, you're not ain't getting any younger as they say so you're not getting any younger that's yeah. true we'll take do you feel the hair is thinning at all uh i wouldn't say thinning it's great okay. it's great slightly, slightly. Slightly. You know, i mean not noticeable enough it's, it's still, all that stress still, from watching phoenix rising struggle for school camera, right ready. yeah that's well, it well, that's it that's we'll what get, it's we'll doing it's not that. the age yeah, it's no, the stress no, we'll get into that i think mom mcp Happy birthday. Appreciate you. Yes, but Reese does have a voice to manage. You know, I've heard him talk, obviously, before. I never heard him sing. It was really nice. It was he a just treat. sang for you. I mean, he's I'm broken honored. his hat already, I'm but honored. he sang for you. Appreciate that. Appreciate yeah. the efforts. He's... <laughs> All righty. Well, we got quite a pod, folks. Um, lots to get into today. Um, you know, I, it was kind of a grim podcast uh, last time around of really just kind of recapping that showing against New Mexico and, you know, just kind of seeing where the state of this team is at. It's, um, it's tough, man. It's, uh, again, yeah. we, we, we talked about four, four goals. Yeah. Or excuse me, four games, one goal, every single match, a one nil score line. It is about as well drab as you can get. Um, there's no really sugarcoating this. There's not even a cake to sugarcoat. There's nothing like that. Uh, it's, I don't know, man. How do we? How do we? Is there a way? A positive spin? Is there anything we can do to help lift these team spirits? <laughs> yeah, no, not really. Uh, <laughs> it's been pretty miserable, hasn't it? I think he can't even. There we go. He's got it eventually. Yeah. Well done, Max. Um, it's been a pretty miserable start to this season, is it not? Um, I mean, it still feels as though not everything's clicked together. Yeah. It's still, obviously, the questions we've had from day one. Are still around. Um, <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's, that's kind of what I was trying to is rising yeah. in front of goal. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Um, I mean, what, what do we expect for like a dollar? Um, but I, look, as as you look at it, I know a lot of people were bringing this up. So that's actually we, we did speak to Danny um, today. The press conference with Danny was today. Um, I kind of eases into this one with a bit from him. Obviously, a lot of people have been talking about Eddie Manjoma makes the move last week over to Tampa. Um, people have been speculating. Okay, does that mean someone else may come in? Is it freeing up for for someone to come in? And I asked Danny about that, about whether there, there's any obvious replacement, you know, on the immediate horizon, be it in Eddie's position or perhaps in a different position. And, and here's what he had to say. Um, at this point, moment, I don't know. Um, at the moment, no. As we sit here today, no is the answer to that. Um, but obviously down the line, who knows? We we may, may see moves as is just normal during a season. But um, as we speak right now, I'm, I don't say that because there is anything 
in the works at all. Um, I think at the moment we we work with the with the players and with the squad that we have, and um, you know we we see how a season moves down the line. But uh, at the moment, the that is uh, that is not the case. That uh, that there is somebody coming in to fill a roster spot. Um, it's simply a move from uh, from Eddie to Tampa Bay. Yeah, so no immediate change by the looks of things. Um, it's kind of where we are on this one. I don't know. I mean, it's a... Uh... You know, it was one of those things like Evan Joma was very much a key part of rising last year, uh, kind of down the stretch, especially was that guy who was really solidified in the role. And, you know, you hate to see a player go like that, but this is something where we've seen Phoenix rising. Like they have just, they have a talent, an abundance of riches within that position. Um, you know, you never know where death's going to go with injury, playing time, everything like that. But, um, you know, it's not the worst type of thing, and we'll see see any other moves that ha that happen. But uh, yeah, Eddie Majoma, uh, you know, good good Phoenix Rising player. Yeah, yeah, and again, um, not in that video, but part of it more broadly. This wasn't something the club was long run planning. Yeah. Um, something very much that Eddie wanted as the opportunity came. Um, yeah. yeah, so I mean, it's understandable, of course. There's a lot of you know, there's not a lot of space there really out wide to try and get people in. It's, it's, Damon has just discovered his uh, blower there and may have broken it on the first try. I don't know. We'll see. I think he has managed to break it. Um, it's a happy blower. <laughs> but uh, no, I think, look, it's not necessarily a shock. I still feel as though, and I don't know, Rising still have some, some space to maneuver in terms of, you know, finding ways to maybe change up some of the personnel they've got out there already. Yeah. Um, I think that my hat stands to fall. Uh, Darius Formella and Remy Cabral might be an interesting pairing if they can make that happen. Mm -hmm. I don't know if they can make that pairing happen again. That came up in the talk today that that's something they've considered. Of course, all the options are on the table. They're not going to rule things out, yeah. but I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, we we will see indeed. By the way, I appreciate everyone in the chat. Merge Gaming, Siley, appreciate the well wishes. Make sure that, that like button got... A lot of, lot of, lot of y'all in the chat. Appreciate it. Make sure, again, keep those thumbs up going. It helps us out more than you guys can imagine. Uh, something that Rising needs to do to, you know, help themselves out more than they can imagine. Score goals. Well, yeah, score goals. That's, yeah. that's a big one. That's, you know, we, we, we talked, we've talked about it, honestly, a lot on Monday of where the goal is going to come from. Uh, it's not just going to be by one player. It really does take a whole formational shift. I, I guess here's the, here's the point of, like, where you're at within – phoenix rising season of you are needing to get something going yes. needing to kind of shift things up and listen you're hoping that the reps that they're putting in behind practice you know the team posting uh you know another kind of like really, really cool kind of short form content of like boom guys practicing all that stuff and it's all well and good there's at some point going to come a time where whether or not you think it's the right thing to do if they continue down this trend of not picking up points of not scoring goals you will have to make a more drastic change because that's just what's going to come of the season. Now, that might be down the road. Are we at the point where do you need to kind of rock the boat, either shift it up either from a formation standpoint bring it, or bringing new players, or do you keep on rolling with your guys hoping that at some point it is going to click? I don't know. Because we're four games in, and it's yet it feels like we've been through three months of the season the way it's felt. That's the, cra <laughs> that's the crazy it part about it. Fair. Let's be real. Like, this is like, being grim. This, this, is, like, this is a crazy question to ask, only being in four games of the season. The season is not over. The sky is not falling, and yet it kind of feels like it is. So what do, what do we do? I think it's a thing about what even when you have performances that you say look better, they're still not really putting goals away. That's the problem, yeah. right? So it's not as though they're on, they're off, they're inconsistent. Even when they're, they're playing better, it's still not good enough, yeah. usually. And I don't think any of the teams that are rising in play so far have been particularly good teams, um, which also doesn't help. And Tulsa, I also don't think are a particularly good team. We'll get onto them in a little bit. But I, I just, I don't know. I don't know. I feel as though you're going to get to a point whereby... Formation is obviously the easier one to tweak with. Maybe you consider a two up top with Formella Cabral and yeah. see how that works. Maybe you switch to a back four. I've heard people suggesting that one, but again, there's a lot of factors that go into that, and I'm not sure how necessarily the personnel line up in that and how that'll quite look. Um, there's a lot of factors to consider with that one. But then again, if that's not working, you have to be willing and have to be able to go out there and accept it, right? There's no... 
real benefit to be gained from dogmatically. You pretending to smoke that, Max? Yeah, a little bit. Oh my god, it's like giving. It's a child. It's a child over there. More you can't you. be dogmatically kind of tied to the squad that you've got there, can you? No. You have to know sometimes that just sitting around and saying it'll work, it'll work, it'll work, it'll work. Sometimes it does, but many times it doesn't. They are. They are. They. They have. I think still a bit of room to maneuver in terms of playing around a little bit with the lineup, the formation, see quite how you can maybe get the best out of these players. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, you know, it's it's uh, like I said, there's so much of this is just rooted in. I don't know if any, you know, any one player, I don't think it's going to come and necessarily make the difference. I don't think any, you know, one shift throwing in an extra attacker up there. Could that help? Sure. But I also think, again, it's just so much of there's not a lot. There's a lack of off ball, off ball movement. There's a lack of even some of the simple one twos. It's yeah. just it's it's getting harder than it needs to be sometimes. I think this team, again, we saw down stretches of last season, they are very, uh, maybe not good is the right word, but they are very, when they can be on their day, they can be very um, lethal from the attacking down the wing standpoint and getting past guys. Yes. It then becomes, if that's your only option, you need to have a better delivery in the final third, not just from the wingers, but also just from actually creating good touches, getting in your opponent's box, everything like that. I, this is just where the issue comes down is, again, it's I, I, I was kind of saying it you know, quite a few times on Monday, but it goes back to if you are getting in good positions and you are just not hitting the back of the neck, but you're getting good shots off, you're, uh, you're having a lot of buildup. If your worst problem is that you just need a little bit more clinicalness in the final third. That will eventually come. And even if you, even if those chances that are missed are frustrating, at least you're creating chances. I don't know where this team even starts at right now because no. we know that, they, that the playmakers of Panis Amanarkas, Darius Fermella, you know, guys on the wing back, especially Garderito, they have threatened well. But it's just too inconsistent. And when yeah, you but even in, then, even then, even then, you look at the names that you're naming right now, and yeah. you say Panos Amanakis and that guy they're both down one side of the field. I agree, and that's what I'm saying. That makes when you quite one-dimensional, quite you predictable. Keep, it won't work. When, when, they, when, when the defense keys in on one of those players, you kind of then again, if you spray it to the other side of the field, no disrespect, but like that's then a lot easier to defend in that scenario. Yeah. What do you do? Like, what do you? Where, where do your? Where are these chances going to come from for Phoenix Rising? I think against a Tulsa team, which is the only what one ahead of them in the in the place of the table they are sitting in eighth currently in the table mm -hmm. in the table phoenix right or excuse me two ahead of them in the table phoenix rise is currently 10th in the west um tulsa at home it's gonna be gr it's gonna be gross we'll get into that a little bit later in the in the next segment yeah. but uh it's Tulsa at home even if they're only have three points from their two matches keep in mind it's not a it's not an easy win and this could be a grimy game it could be it could be it could be. We'll get into that uh, next gosh. segment. Do we? Do we? Do we want to? Is there anything else we want to like kind of be sad, sad sacks about for Phoenix Rising? Because we've kind of already set our piece for the most part. It's one goal in four games. One goal in four games. Who? One goal in four games. Can I ask a question? Because I'm. Uh, I, I want to. I want to see where we're thinking at. Phoenix Rising wins a penalty in the box. Who's taking it? Panos. Yeah, that's what I figured. Okay. Presuming he's out there. Okay. We did have a uh, Rocco Rios Novo named. Uh, no, he's not taking a penalty. No, 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 no. <laughs> no. There was a transition in there, and that wasn't it. No, but Rocco. Ro there, there was two separate schools of thought. Let me let me start again. Uh, Penas Armanakas would take a penalty. End end topic. New topic. Rocco Rios Novo. Yeah. Yes. Uh, you know he was named as an honorable mention to the USL Team of the Week, saving a pen uh, in their one nil defeat to New Mexico. Again, guy is like, dude's been the player of the month for this team. And man, that's great. Knowing that how, what a quality keeper he is, but uh, yikes. Yikes. Oh, yikes. 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 We will, we will see. Um, how many, do we like Rocco to have another big game? Do we want him to have a big game against Tulsa? Rocco will have big games every time <laughs> he plays. If people take shots against him, it's yeah. as simple as that. If, if people are allowed to shoot against him, He'll have big games. This guy doesn't have poor games, I don't think, overall. I haven't seen Not him. regularly, yeah. okay, at the very least. If you put seven shots on him, he'll probably save five-plus of them, mm. okay? He makes big saves. That's, that's who That's who Rocco Rios Novo is. So, again, if Rising give up shots, yeah, I expect he'll have another big game. We like that. 
We like that. Well, we will see Phoenix Rising travels to Tulsa. They play on Friday. Going to take an adventure out of Arizona, but if you want to take adventure in Arizona, I might recommend our friends at AZ Lottery. Arizona Lottery, you can play their AZ Adventure program. Super easy to do. They have three ways to play and win big. You win up to $1 million in cash and Arizona travel If you prizes. win a million dollars, you can look like you're having as great a time as we are here, can't you? You can, wait, 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 wait. You, you can look like you're having as good of a fun time? Yeah. Did we just win a million dollars? No, but we're, we're, we're doing this. So, hey, you know, we we're having a, a great chance, time. We have a chance. And it's your birthday, so we're having a great time. Hey, we, it can be every day is your birthday. If you win an Arizona lottery, uh, we well, of course, you must be 20 years old if you play. But uh, hey, Arizona lottery, uh, you know, they have their new ticket prog- program. Again, three ways to play. First is you can uh, play any of three iconic landscapes within their ticketing promotion. Picacho Peak, Monument Valley, and Camelback. Mountain have ticket prices up to fifty thousand dollars. Number two, you can check in at geolocated adventures. Literally, guys, I'm not trying to scam the system. You can even like literally go to the parking lot and check in at these like hikes and areas, uh, and you know, boom, got the radius. You can do that. Don't there. give people the cop out. It's way. not a cop out. You still gotta go there. It's not a cop out. Maybe not everyone can do Max, the hike. No. Maybe they just no. That's the beauty of this. Is while there are hikes, it's even just about enjoying the nature, about looking at the nature, viewing in the, in the parking nature. lot. It's still looking at it. I'm just saying it's what you can do. You can go to azadventure.com to find more details. Look at these 10 geolocated, geolocated adventures everywhere from Flagstaff to Yuna. You might, there are literally a couple within this, the city of Phoenix. Very easy to do. And then you can enter those tickets online, again, for a chance to win $1 million in cash and Arizona travel prizes. Again, find out more information at visitazadventure.com. Are you old enough to buy lottery tickets, Max? Uh I might have to check your ID, please, sir. You do not. Yeah, I don't trust him. He's a shifty-looking guy. Wouldn't you I'm agree? Than you. Why yeah. I, why Damon, Damon nods. Damon nods in the direction. Why? Don't do that. Yeah, not yeah, all yeah. salesmen are bad people. Yeah, I'm yeah. Adman. There's a difference. Yeah, I know. But Adman is the kind of guy who'd say, don't do the hike. Just go to the parking lot. It still works. I did right? say, don't That's do the hike. That's what you said. No, I, okay. No, no, no. I actually said, for those of you who are unable to do a hike, I'm actually a very inclusive type of human being if you're not able to do if you are not able to do the hike you're still able to participate that's actually such a noble thing all right all right i'm so noble i'm going to tell you about free things you can get from our friends at circle k K. first off you can buy arizona lottery tickets there that's a win you can buy our friends at four peaks there and you can get so many more free things by downloading their inner circle program it's super easy all you gotta do feeling like max blowing his little all you, uh, yeah. All you gotta do is uh, just download the Inner Circle app. It's, That's gonna go so weird on audio. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, you just download Circle K app. Enter in your phone number, and that's how you opt into the Inner Circle program. <laughs> you, you, gosh, context. Uh, you uh, can save 25 cents off per gallon on your first five fill-ups and then save up to five cents every gallon after that. It's very fun. I walked in today. I bought a Polar Pop, and guess what? Because you get every sixth item free, I now get my next Polar Pop for Ooh. free. Only got it for 89 cents today because I'm an Inner Circle member. I get that that uh, discount, that big XL Polar Pop boy. Yeah, no, no. I got it for 89 cents. The next one's free. That's how dang easy it is. Check out Inner Circle's program. Again, terms and conditions do apply at participating locations. Visit CircleK.com for more details. All right. Phoenix Rising playing FC Tulsa. Yeah, they are, yeah. Friday. Initial thoughts. How do we feel? I don't think Tulsa are very good. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But then again, I don't think anyone that rising a play so far this season have been particularly good. So, I mean, it's... Yeah, it's one of those ones, right? Uh, well, I'm, I'm seeing a stat from Stat Lackey. Rising mm-hmm. haven't scored... Have, haven't scored one goal in four... Yeah, you typed that very poorly. I know what you're trying to say. They've scored one goal in four matches. The last time that occurred was July of 2022... Uh, that was the last time they scored only one goal in a span of four matches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, that's uh, that's quite a while. Um, do they score a goal? Let, before you give them predictions, let's let's just like try to establish a baseline. Do they score a goal against Tulsa? Well, they didn't last year. Okay, that was a pretty dull nil nil draw. It was. That was horrid. the The field lines kind of gave me anxiety and some yeah, vertigo. Yeah, we'll get on, we'll get on to the the field condition well. in a bit. But um, I tell you what, should we take Danny Stone's uh, initial comments on what he's expecting to see from Tulsa? Let's do it. They are a competitive team. They are physically quite capable. Um, they, I think, are a hard working team, and they 
Um, they make games difficult is what I've seen from them so far. Uh, we've seen them, I think, be relatively direct in terms of how they play. Um, you know, energetic for second balls and second phases and a front four that, you know, that that move forwards and we have seen them press a little bit in those games. And, um, you know, they'll, like I said, I would describe them as a difficult team to play against from from what I've seen from them so far. And um, not only a direct team in terms of attacking against Orange County, I felt they, you know, they had a good amount of the ball. And sometimes that it's, it's difficult from a remove perspective to, to say how much of that is how they felt they want the game to be and how much of that is obviously down to any particular opponent that they play or how a game goes. And Orange County, obviously, for a lot of the game, we're protecting a, a, a lead as well. So that perhaps makes a little bit of a difference. But um, I've seen I've seen Tulsa both be quite vertical and quite threatening and then probably have a little more possession of the ball and, and uh, you know, have more time in possession against Orange County in their second game. So again, it's a it's a tricky one for me to sort of say exactly what I think we might see. It's a home opener for them. I'm sure there'll be energy in that stadium. I'm sure they'll be obviously wanting to, uh, you know, to to make it a good opening day for for their club and their fans. And um, so we'll we'll see. We'll see. We'll be ready for whatever we've prepared for, for you know, for, for a couple of different aspects that we think we might see. And, you know, we, we I know some of their players relatively well, obviously from, from being around them and playing against them in the league so far. And so, you know, Mario is actually a coach that I know for a long time as well. Uh, Mario and I were both uh, in Las Vegas at the same time several years ago now. I don't even know how many years that is, probably, probably 10, 12 or more years ago now maybe. But um, Mario is a coach that I've known for a long time and uh, I look forward to seeing him. And I know his, you know, his teams are hardworking teams. And, um, you know, I, I without knowing details of how, how things are, are operating there for him and, and with his team right now, I'm sure after the game on Saturday or Friday, excuse me, I'll, I'll catch up with him a little bit more, but I look forward to seeing him and I know his teams are, are never going to be easy to play against. Yeah. I mean, that was a, you know, it's fair. It's a pretty diplomatic. Nice, nice long. It's a, it's a nice long diplomatic answer. Yep. And that's all well and good, but I want to get into the meat of this. I want to get into the, the meat. I want to get into the meat. Uh, Max of, ain't no vegetarian. I, no, I ain't. I, 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 I'm not. I'm no vegetarian. We're going to Tulsa. Uh, I reckon they might have decent barbecue there, and I want to get into yeah, some the reasonable meat. barbecue there. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, no, no, not naming any places. Yeah. Thank you. No free ads. ads. Um, nice. Gosh, you made me so proud sometimes. times. Um, I thought you wanted to get rid of me. Wow. Well, we just need to break again. It, the the pod's not the same without you. It's not. I know. Um, to see. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, Tulsa. Um, they were, know, they got stuck in against Vegas. They in did. Terms of... They did. You know, we we do have some stats. Uh, you know, courtesy of Stat Like Reset, they've only played two matches. Two. Two in a month. Rising played four. Yeah. So that. Well, for, for, before we get, in, let's start there. Tulsa played two matches. Rising have played four. Is there anything to take at that? Is that good for Rising? Is that bad for Rising? What do we feel? Indifferent because they did play last weekend. So it's still the same short week for both teams. I think that's the most important thing. Yeah. Rising, and when you say forward, sometimes you look at those and think, oh, yeah, but it's fixture congestion or whatever now. If you play playing one game a week, you're yep. in a rhythm. Yep. Um, I don't think it'll really hurt Tulsa that much. It's still early enough on both sides and rising and have enough that they still need to figure out that it's not as though rising have got themselves together and, you know, Tulsa haven't. Um, I feel as though, again, it's... Look, this is a, a team that are very middle of the pack, I think, at best. Um, you did see them getting quite stuck in against Vegas, but Vegas early doors were taking a bit of time to kind of you know, settle into the new look Vegas. Um, yeah. So that's not not necessarily a surprise. Um, yep. Look, at the end of the day, I, I feel as though th th this is a game that's winnable in terms of if you match up player for player who has the better players. But overall, when you look at it as a everything coming together, I, I'm maybe it's these last four games have brought out the pessimist in me, but uh, I don't know. Yeah, well, let's see. Here, here are the advanced stats uh, uh, presented by Stadler like Reese. Um, you know, a three-one win against Vegas. Uh, again, keep in mind these were both away matches that Tulsa played. This would be their first home game, their home opener. Their match against Vegas, a point eight two xg. Uh, XG on target 1.98 shots on target shots 12 shots 
five of them on target. 11 chances created yeah. I, on only 28 possession. Yeah. That's kind of wild. 28% possession against Vegas, 11 chances created. So that was their 3 1 win. Again, their 1 0 loss against Orange County. I mean, in a way, more of the same within shots 15 shots, six of them on target. Uh, decent XG at 0.9, but you know, the XG on target way less. And then possession 53%. So what do you make of that? I don't really know defending right what you need to make of it yes. well i'll say this one is potentially a difference maker is i think a critical bit is going to be whether philip goodrum plays for tulsa or not that's fair he was on the bench in their last game against orange county he played in the previous match against vegas and he scored against vegas this is a guy who put up 12 goals last season with tulsa who missed the playoffs who put up 21 regular season goals with memphis the season before okay. philip goodrum is the kind of guy up top where if he's clicking he can make things happen no matter what the rest of the team are looking like yeah he's dangerous you've got to be aware of him if he's out there that'd be a critical one philip be good rum um defending for is his middle name start does he have a middle name i don't know that'd, be, that'd honestly be hilarious if it's no it's joseph philip Joseph. Anyway, uh, it's just having different names now. Man. Defending for the 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 J silent. Uh, d- defending stats for this <sighs> FC Tulsa team in these two matches. Again, they conceded. Uh, you know, between their two matches, only have conceded what one point five xg. Uh, you know, they do concede shots. And listen, in a way, they have they have had chances conceded nine in their first match against Vegas eight in their match against Orange County. This is all I'll say. Um, Phoenix Rising came into a situation earlier in the season where, you know, the team that they're playing is, hey, kind of over, kind of overmatched. They have, have, you know, kind of a decent record, but within their, oh my gosh, I'm blanking. Ah, within their win against Oakland Roots, um, Oakland came in of a team of, they give up shots, they gave up chances, yet were they maybe the highest quality? no. But we kind of saw if Phoenix Rising is able to win the field tilt, if they are able to kind of put that Oakland Roots team under early, which they did for a little bit, it did end up helping them in the second half. I'm not saying Tulsa is the exact same because clearly the quality of chances is much, much lower than what they've conceded. But if there is a silver lining to where Rising can find a way, it's getting shots off early and really kind of using that field tilt and that possession against Tulsa, which, as we've seen, based off the stats and the couple matches that they've played, it is a possibility. Yeah, it is. I tell you what, another one, another player I'd look for there is Blaine Ferry in the Tulsa mm-hmm. midfield. Um, 23-year-old, right? He was there last year. Um, so he's very familiar with Tulsa. He's previously been North Texas, Fort Lauderdale, right? He's He's been around a little bit, despite only being 23 years of age. But this is a guy, you look at what he's doing right now in the midfield in terms of winning jewels okay Mm. right now in terms of winning tackles this guy 15 jewels one out of 25 attempted uh he's won five tackles out of eight he's actually second on the team in key passes with five and it's led to two assists through two games blaine ferry can really be an important one in that midfield if you again don't know how to deal with him yeah i mean i don't disagree on that Mm mm-hmm It'll be it's just gonna be interesting how this game is gonna be played. I mean, yeah, they do they do have some guys. It's nothing nothing spectacular on defense, but I, I, I think this is kind of one of those games where again we've said Rising can might have to win ugly, and they're gonna have to win ugly, especially with that. Should we talk about the pitch? Talk about yeah, the pitch? yeah. Oh, so I, it's, it's it like came up in the press gross. conference as well today. Gross. We don't have a video on that for you today, but we'll we'll kind of walk through what we've said. Um, look, the field there last time I was there was delightful. And by delightful, I mean sarcasm. Grim. Um, by grim, he means it's ropey as hell. Um, ropey he it's means. look. The thing about it, though, and this is what Danny said today: the half the field, right, the outfield, quote unquote, half is uh, not too bad, right? The playing surface is okay over there. It's, for a baseball field, it's not too bad. The problem is the infield part. The infield part. We're talking is about soccer. Dodgy. Yeah, I know. The infield part is dodgy and uh that that's going to be the fun part if they have to work things out look they said they're not going to over 
think this one too much in advance because yeah. at the end of the day, no one's played on that field yet this season. So until they get there, they're not really going to know what they're dealing with. But when they do get there, they're going to have to think about how they approach that. And maybe it means that they slightly act a little bit smarter per se in moments with it while they're in the, the one half of the field versus in the other. Quite how that changes, we'll have to see. But um, yeah, that that could well be a factor because it's not easy to play when you've got that lumpy, bumpy, uneven, just travesty of a pitch, to be honest, in parts. Yeah. So we kind of feel that this match may not be a nice, oh, free flowing back and forth. You think it's going to be choppy. It's going to be kind of one. Can in the, be. Could, could be one in the center, center of the park, as, Can we, be. as we say. Can be. We'll see. We'll have to see. Again, it comes down to field conditioning part. We don't quite know how good or bad it'll be this year, um, but it wasn't great in okay. September when we were there last. Okay, okay. Owen, give me a player to watch for Phoenix Rising, a guy who can make the difference. Mm. Give me Rito in this game. I think he, he's been all right. We've seen the flashes, but we haven't seen the full Rito of what he could be so far. Have we? No. We haven't seen the full Rito. We, 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 Could this be the game that he steps yeah. up and shows us what a full power Rito does? Ooh, I kind of like that power Rito. That's a good... That's, that's a, it's a, I like, I Why like, are you making this into a thing? I'm not, I, w- I want to see him at his best. I want to see... That's just power, Rito. Name, power Rito. I like that. No, yeah, don't, don't, don't. No, no, we're not making this Gardo a thing. Power Rito. No, right, we're I'm, not making this a thing. You're not making this. I'm making a thing. Uh, no, but it, it, will, it will be interesting, right? He's a guy who we have. I don't even want to see flashes because I don't. I don't. I don't think that's a. I don't think that's fair enough to we, his we've game. We've seen him look all right. Yeah, we, I, we, I think he's had some all right games, but he's but had, there's he's, a not. He's, he's had mm. sustained periods where not in flashes it's the same periods where he does well is able to beat his man and get in good positions it's just can we see him complete the final ball yeah. whether that's the pass the driving into the box or putting a shot on target that's where we want to see but this guy has shown he deserves to be starting and it's just all about having it uh, all come together yeah no that's correct that's a, that's a good shout anyone um how about you know the defense and we've seen some guys step up really no, well. They've been guys. fine. They've been fine. Do you like any guy in particular? Really I don't shine? think there's any real step up. I think they've just been fine. Okay. Fair enough. How about midfield? Can we go with that? I don't know. <laughs> I don't really know what to do with that one, um, to be honest. Uh, you know, like I said, power Rito. Let's go. Yeah, we're making it a no, thing. No, we're not. It's full Rito, is what they say in the chat there full as well. Rito. Uh, you know, it's a. Uh, oh, it sounds like Owen wants. This is getting. The, yeah. full, the full power Owen's Rito. Full, full power Rito. Boom. There we go. There we go. There we go. Well, wait until he scores. Yes. If he scores, it's no, his next day forever. No. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes. She got it. Absolutely. So now if if he scores, coming back in the postgame chat, that is his name you forever. Let's sticker. go. I do see the super sticker from Sai Lee. It is a slice of pink birthday cake with purple icing and a candle. Appreciate you. Oh, so much. Um, It's going to be, it's going to be interesting. Can we, uh, Talk through score lines. What do we like as oh, a score Oh, no. Line? Not score predictions. Gotta do we? it. Gotta do it. Score prediction. No. Yes. I need it. No. I need it. Give me a score. You first. Birthday boy first. Fine. Uh, Reese has one. N- Reese, can, would you like to name the team with the one nil? I'll say it after the match. Oh, that's cheating. That's cheating. He says he'll say it after the match. That's sitting more on the fence than Owen. Yeah. Oh, yes. Let's go. Owen activated. Um, I will go. I'll go 1-1. One, one. I think Ryzen gets a point from this. And I think it's going to be an absolutely ugly game. Like I don't, I don't. Nil think, nil. You'll think nil nil. That's yeah. fine. That's fine. I, I think I think this has a draw written all over it. I think Rising does get a goal, um, but I think it's going to be gross. And I think the goal they let in is going to be gross. I think this is going to be a gross match. You know what we're going to do? You know what we're going to do? We're gonna I do? think we're going to put someone on the spot here. Should we get uh, producer Kyle? Ooh, Kyle! Well, give, give us a prediction. Producer Kyle behind the Mac. Give us a prediction here. What's the score I'm going to be? With one nil, Tulsa. To- Tulsa. Oh, sorry. Ooh, here I comes the it. negativity. No, sorry. no, I love it. Dude, no, <laughs> Kyle, Kyle is a smart man. Every single Rising match has ended 1-0 so far. Yep. Why not keep it going? And yeah, I honestly, I'm totally fine with that. That's a great call. Well, at least you're, and at least thank you for assigning a team, unlike some people on our crew. <laughs> come who, on, what are you doing? Come on, coward. Say one. 
What do you want? I guess since Kyle says Tulsa, I'll say Ryzen. Oh, oh, he's going Ryzen. Because okay. Kyle says Tulsa, right, he's going Ryzen. Right. You got know what? You know what? We got a... Let's just... Well, again, let's get Damon on, on Come this. Come on, we're getting Damon in on this. He's also sitting in here. Damon, score prediction. 2-0 Tulsa. He's going 2-0 to Tulsa. It's getting worse by the minute. Uh, but I appreciate, I appreciate everyone... No, I appreciate it. It's, 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 a, it's a very fair possibility. We've got Bandita's Bluebird, nil, nil. Tom, uh, Tomas in the chat, two, nil, rising. Wait, Tomas had a birthday, uh, might have been definitely two days ago or one Recently. ago. I think it was two days ago. Happy belated birthday as well, my guy. Um, let's see. You gotta get the thing out for the bitch. Oh, yeah, yeah, hold on. Oh, gosh, it's tilting down there. Oh, gosh, it's tilting up. You're not uh, gonna Brett, fix that, man. Brett, <laughs> Brett in the chat. Bad back pass leading to a goal for Tulsa. Maybe Rising gets two. Um, I don't. I don't hate it. Uh, we will see. Uh, Kyle, if you can scroll up a little bit further in the chat, please. I was. Um, let's see. Seeing a prediction. Keep going a little bit further. A little bit further. A little bit. Anyone more. else make any predictions? Uh, yeah. Uh, Merge gaming in the chat. As a car scores a tap in. We'll see. Okay. We will see. I like that. Um, oh, and I like to make a prediction uh, based off Mom McPee's comment. Uh, she appreciates me looking like a unicorn, festive and cute. Would you uh, would you fancy me right now as being more festive or more cute with this uh, unicorn hat on, please, if you will? No, don't. Can can I get a can I get an answer, please? More festive or cute? Uh, for me? neither. No, but like if you have to lean towards one. No, I'm going for neither. Well, no, that's not how you feel. You can your question it. is invalid, Max. That doesn't make sense. You she, can't, she says you I'm both festive and cute. Mom McPee. I appreciate you. I'm, um, not, I'm not picking one. Oh boy, you guys are tough. Uh, Devin saying Gallardo <laughs> scores twice, three two rising. Uh, Devin followed up by on the OGs. Yeah, Tomas Aries gang, rise up, baby. What do you know about that late March to mid April? Mm -mm. Let's go. Um, yeah, Devin all is either either smarter than the rest of us or sips beer. Um, mm. I said Pierre, not uh, definitely not Devin. All. Uh, yeah, he he's either knowing something or something. Uh, yeah, Devin all on the OG. No, I think I think he's off. Yeah, Devin I all, think he's off. I think he's off. I think he is. Well, De Devin all definitely cannot be on the OGs because he is not twenty one or over. But if you're twenty one or over, might I recommend our friends at OG brands? OGs brands. You try and you they fail. They can have a good time. They look even look like these hats a little bit. They're festive. They got you know the nice green and yellow packaging maybe these hats are like big og's gummies you know they could they could be um but you know og's gummies they are much more than uh hats because they're not hats they are delicious thc gummies that you can <laughs> they are delicious we've so far established that og's they're not hats. they're not hats they're not hats mm. they look all right like let's get to the point now max what are we doing whoa, whoa, whoa. we're getting there we're well, getting there we're, we're getting there. there yes no og's they are absolutely delicious they make for great uh you know, whether it's birthdays, celebrations, you're needing to take you one gonna before. you partake tonight? You're no? needing to take one before, during, and after a Phoenix Rising match. Uh, you know, oh, geez, it is absolutely phenomenal. You chill out afterwards. When you when you get to Friday night, it's 5.30 p.m. About Arizona to. time kickoff, yep. and you realize you're about to watch one of the most dismal 90 minutes of your life. And or about Don't to, worry. Chill out. And or about 7.45 rolls around. You have to hop on and host the PHNX Rising postgame podcast, and then you're realizing, oh, dear gosh, we have to recap and talk about this match oh geez will really help for that but future max and future owen that's for friday but in the meantime you can take ogs oh enjoy it for a good time the sativas the creams everything like that they have everything to help you out on a daily basis ogs oh we absolutely love them check out what they have going on through march madness guys they're doing the gummy madness bracket challenge again every single um Every single gummy is being represented by a dispensary. You can get Sleep Edition. Get your Sleep Edition Gummy Madness BOGO deals all week until April 8th. Again, Sleep Edition BOGO deals all week until April 8th. To find out more about where you can get that sweet, sweet deal, go to OGsBrands.com. Again, that's OGsBrands.com uh, and on all platforms at OGs Brands to again, get that sweet, sweet BOGO deal. And uh, you know, there you go. we got deals. We got Valley deals. Tap Room. They got deals. Valley Tap Room. Valley Tap Room. Uh, you can check them out when you go see them in person. Grab a little Four Peaks beer. They got two locations, uh, Gilbert and Queen Creek. They got the food, the music trucks, bingo, fun events, everything like that. And uh, really, you can host your own events there. They got food you can bring. 
All fun stuff. Wine slushies. Way too many beers on tap. Way too many beers. Way too many beers. Delicious. Way too beers, many beers. Everything like that. No matter that. what you drink, you'll find something. You will. You will find something. Will. We're drinking some nice Four Peaks. They got the wow wheat there. Cheers, buddy. It's Max's birthday. We're drinking beers. We are drinking beers. Uh, as Damon chuckles. Um, but yes, Valley Tap Room. We're not chuckling unless we're laughing at what a great time and merriment we're having there. Check them out at valleytaproom.com. Let's find them out at valleytaproom.com or find them in person at Gilbert and Queen Creek. Follow them out on socials at Valley Tap Room. That was a transition back on then. What's that? <laughs> we're not laughing at Valley Tap Room. We're not laughing. We're not. We're not. <laughs> we're, not. we're not. We're laughing. We we're always not. have a great time there. We, have we ever had a bad time there? No. No, exactly. No, 100%. Oh, yeah. It's amazing. All right, Owen, we've... Uh, you know who else isn't having a bad time this year at uh, all? Oh, gosh. Alfaralito. Oh, my gosh. Open the U.S. Open Cup. U.S. Uh, Open Cup. Do you have to talk about my U.S. Open Cup bits Yeah, today. it didn't work, did it, man? No, Yesterday, uh, lost, lost, lost the first leg. Oh, yeah, those uh, also that didn't also, work. Yeah, no. Also, that was a four-legger that failed. Um, yeah, uh, you know, Open Cup. Uh, Owen, did you place any bets for Open Cup? <laughs> yeah, they're not looking great at the moment. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Here's uh, what happens. Damon, any uh, Open Cup bets for you, sir? No, says Damon. No, no, no. Yeah, that's okay. Reese. Reese yeah, can't bet. He's exactly. not old enough. Exactly. Kyle, any uh, <laughs> Open Cup bets for you? No. Okay. That's okay. That's okay. We live on with the Open Cup. I had a, I had a, did I have a 10 leg or holy? Crap. Yeah, you did. You're, you're an idiot. You went, you bet on every single game today. Man. Ah, you went. It's hitting, right? No, it's definitely not. He lost it on the first game. You win he some, lost it on the very first game, some, Damon. He some, bet on a professional team to go some. away and beat an amateur team. The amateur team went 2-0 up, then had a player sent off. And despite having being down a man for 20 minutes, the professional team couldn't find a goal. The dead man. The done. The Did done. they also miss a penalty in that as well? Uh, yeah, they did, didn't they? Because that's how the player got sent off. Oh, my gosh, he did. Yeah. yeah. Oi. Oi. Yeah, not great. Um, yeah, you know, Open Cup, it's a, it's a thing, you know, uh, rising sooner or later. They will be in it. Sooner or later, meaning in a month's time. Well, that's um, what I mean, first week later. of May, rising will enter in the fourth not round. Next, not next round. That is the third the round of after. 32. Uh, every other USL Championship team other than those finishing in the top eight last season will compete in the third round. The draw for that is at 10 a.m. Arizona time tomorrow. Who is staying up to watch the draw? Who is... Staying up? Is it 10 a.m.? Well, I know. I mean, like, who's, like, staying up to tune in? Who's staying it? up to watch the draw? It's yeah, like 10 a.m. Yeah, like, who's staying up to, like... It sound like it's one of those, like, 2 a.m. kind of things. That... Yeah, who's, like, staying up to tune into it? You know what I mean? No, I don't know what you mean, Matt. Who's tuning into it, bro? <laughs> it's 10 a.m. Who's tuning into it? Who's watching the Open Cup draw? I'm not. I'm yeah. on a plane. You can watch the Open Cup draw. I'm on a plane, Max. Just no. They have Wi-Fi on a plane. I'm not paying for Wi-Fi to watch the Open Cup draw, Max. Oh my gosh! Clearly, you don't care. Unbelievable. You watching it? Nah, I'm meeting that. <laughs> yeah, you got a meeting then. See, it's all. Yeah, all that's, about. That's you should have blocked it out in your calendar, Max. That's should have blocked Jet it out in the chat. Club de Leon is a stretch for professional. Very I, true. I, yeah, very true. I learned that the hard way. Very true. Uh, um, they ain't Leon about that. Um, fun times. We love we love the Open Cup. Uh, we love the Open Cup. We love the Open no, Cup. No, we don't. They take yeah, my we money. Do. They take my Farolito money. Farolito moving on. Open Cup's my favorite charity. Farolito char moving on. Open Cup's my favorite charity I donate to, apparently. With all the bets. Can I write that off in my taxes? No. Okay. Uh, Jose Aguinaga is playing for Miami United. Oh Wait, is he? No way. Is he? Lucky, look it up while we stall. Lucky, get me answers, please. Lucky. Um, Jose Aguinaga. Yeah. He could well be. Uh, it might be. In fact, I'm gonna wait. No, I can. I can pull up the. Let me pull up the data from this the one is, game. This is great. Uh, this is a great program. I know this is. We're gonna keep talking here now. Keep talking. Keep talking. Max, what do you think? Tell me a bit about Jose Aguinaga and what you feel about the guy. Uh, I really have strong. You remember him playing for Rising? I mean, yeah, I really don't have strong. He, he is. I don't have strong opinions. He, of him, he is. Way. He's playing for Miami United. Okay, so Jose Aguinaga on. cost you money today, Max. Well, not him specifically. Well, he he played. Okay. He started. He played ninety minutes. That's fine. Jose Aguinaga. This is a blast from the past. Jose Aguinaga, former Phoenix Rising player. Jose Aguinaga. Mm -mm -mm. That's a real blast from the past. Who? Name me a random team that's going to be winning the U.S. Open Cup. Random team. I mean, give me give me a team that's going to win. Like, who's going to win? Mm -hmm. Sacramento. Phoenix Rising, why not? Phoenix no, Rising, why not? see, this is the thing. You want that, but no. I don't believe. When have I not gotten what I want? 
every time you bet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> every time you place a bet, Max. Uh, um, yeah. I think the biggest thing I'll say is that, and this is where my worry is, obviously we look at this team and think there may still be some... You've really destroyed that, Max. I like to, I like to um, fit with it. Is that... <laughs> you've destroyed that so badly. But um, the thing about it is that you know, normally you look at it and say there's still some holes in this rising team. Okay, maybe they get someone on loan, say, from an MLS reserve team. Yeah. Who may be capable, right? Even a Memphis Carlos Memphis. Harvey type, let's say, as an example. Carlos Harvey played yesterday in the Open Cup, so he's cup tied. Mm. That's your problem. You have a lot of guys cup tied, maybe who wouldn't necessarily have been cup tied before. Mm. We'll see. We'll see. Yes, you can have it all in the chat. You can watch the US Open Cup draw and then watch Liverpool. Shit the bed. Oh, sounds about right. That's normally what they do, right? Yeah. What? Who are you rooting for here? I mean, remember, Damien, you don't have a mic. This is a very one-sided conversation. Uh, to be fair, to be fair, I actually don't know who. Oh, oh. Are they playing? Yeah, they're playing Sheffield United. Chelsea yeah. playing Man U. That's a game, buddy. No, it's not. <laughs> no, it's says not. Damien. Oh my God. <laughs> Meanwhile, Reese is calling oh, for yeah. oh, here we go. Oh, look at We've what you've got done. It. We got look Damon is insisting on grabbing the mic now. It's, it's, it's less about Reese, and it's just like, why are you rooting for Liverpool to win, Max? Whose side are you on here? No, no one's no, rooting wait, for no, Liverpool to win. No, 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 I you said Liverpool to, gonna, sh no, to shit the bed. Why would you want that? Why would I well, want Liverpool, Liverpool to not win the league? We, we're City Pool for life, Max. It's me and you against the world, and the world being Arsenal. Well, I don't want Arsenal to win either. So who do you think's gonna win, pal? I mean, we gotta pick and choose some options here. I mean, realistically, Kyle's probably gonna end up happy, and just Man City's gonna win it all. Kyle's an Arsenal fan. Oh shit, really? Oh, yes. Well, I'm, I'm off. Uh, you, know, you know what? what well, you know what, what's actually gonna happen here is the 115 judges will be disposed of. Several others will surface against other teams, and somehow Aston Villa are gonna win the league. Uh, sorry, we're gonna I mean, overtake them for fourth. So that's not possible. <laughs> That's not possible. <laughs> Spurs, top four, confirmed. Uh, here we go. Uh, we don't have to chuckle. That wasn't a joke. Um, it wasn't no tee hee, ha ha, around there. Um, Spurs winning. Good one. Oh, when boy. does Spurs win anything? Oh boy, this is, uh, you know. Audi Cup. Uh, Audi Cup. Yeah, yeah. Audi, Audi Cup champions. champions. How's uh, how's Mr. Kane doing as well? You know, he's got that Spursy vibe. No, 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 no. How's is he now, doing this in now, the... This is, How's he doing in the Bundesliga? We've, had to, we've had to get rid of Harry Kane, and we've realized that he's been the problem all along. Here we go. You're still not winning anything. Uh, we're actually winning top four. That's a fact. That's not a trophy. We got. We we literally won. Max is putting the we finished top four banner up no, there no, 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 with the know, Phillies. We had higher resale no, prices no, 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 banner. No, no. Okay. You know what? You're absolutely right. You're, it's, up, you're, it's absolutely right. Win, no, I'm sorry. you're right. You're right. It has been a couple of years since winning a trophy. You know, 2019. It's been a minute. You don't win anything, man. Champions League participant, man. That's not a trophy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, oh, wait. You're a Villa fan. Sile is Sile's calling you up for it. No, okay. no. All I want. No, Sile. Uh, you, you know, I, I wish Villa. I would say I wish Villa the best of luck. Ollie Watkins, finish. good player. Though. I, yeah, he is. Um, I wish Villa zero luck because I hope we overtake them in fourth, and we will. We will. Uh, no, only won't. time Spurs win is when they're in San Antonio. They don't win there, buddy. So I can tell you that San Antonio poor. We don't have Wemby on our team though. So here we go. Uh, this podcast has devolved into you know nothingness and chaos as it has. Do we have anything else before we can get out of here and send these people home? So Max, Max, oh. tell the people. Come on, speak to the people now. It's your yeah. birthday. What do you want? I don't know. Just just speak to the people. Why don't, why don't you ask me some address questions. the people? Why don't you, I'm, I, I want tell them how how you feel about them. What what? Yeah. What? How does it feel to be another year older, mate? Um, just I don't know. Just address the people in some way, shape, or form. Uh, all right, people. Um. I've learned anything from this uh, 20, 29 years of life. A couple things. Um, old. Yeah, old. <laughs> He's getting heckled with old He's, at the moment. They're not wrong. I'm getting up there. Uh, I'm not thinning. I want to clarify that. There is some gray. The hair isn't thinning. The hair is gray. Well, slightly. Like, not, again, you can't see anything, but just you know, look at a microscope. I'm surprised Sam hasn't jumped in here yet to uh, say, oh, your hair is gray. But uh, what does she know? Uh, <laughs> the more you say that, the more likely I feel it probably. becomes. <laughs> Probably, probably. She has to deal with his gray hair now for life, so that's on her. Um, anyway, uh, let's see. 29 years of age. Um, you know, number one, she'd be well. 
I'd say that. Uh, you know, even if we're joking around, we're horsing around. Just make sure you treat the well at the end of the day. Uh, Number one, don't make shit be bad. That was gonna. That was gonna be the first thing. I was trying to. I was trying to be wholesome, but that was that was that was quickly gonna be that was quickly gonna be the main piece of advice. Don't make stupid bets. Um, I've never made a stupid bet in my life. Um, no. Well, no. That, oh, you wait. You consider the tattoo stupid? No. Oh, that was a memory. There was no something stupid about that. That's uh, that, that was something that I'll remember forever. I don't think that's stupid at all. <laughs> quick, uh, quick poll of the room. Stupid or no? Maybe yes. Campiones, man. Exactly. Yeah, Campiones. Stupid or yes? There's a nod. That's at nah. least two people said yes. Uh, number three, uh, Max buying pretzels. Yeah, you know what? Uh, treat yourself. Buy pretzels. Buy uh, baked goods uh, as you wish. Um, it's a good time. Uh, you know, indul indulge on the, on the sweeter stuff of life. Um, eat that pretzel. Eat that piece of baked bread. Grab that slice of pizza. Do what you need to do. Life is short. Uh, that's all I got. Those three things. So uh, treat people well. Don't make stupid bets. And uh, yeah, buy some pretzels and uh, other baked goods. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Uh, well, this has been a uh, something. I appreciate everyone joining us here on a edition of the PHNX Rising podcast. Uh, of course, you can follow us on Twitter at PHNX underscore underscore rising because double the underscore. Still only one goal. I oh dear gosh that is that's really sad and yet it's very true uh you can follow me on twitter at uh max david simpson you can follow owen on twitter at oj evans 18 you can follow reese on twitter at reese 11 underscore you can follow damon dog on twitter at damon dog d a double g woo -woo. you can follow kyle on twitter at k coop sports again that's k c o o p sports and uh yeah guys appreciate you as always we'll be back friday during post game for um recapping whatever 90 minutes plus stoppage time we watch i i freaking hope it's something good please please uh but it's a beautiful game but it's way more beautiful when you get to watch open cup with friends and uh yeah enjoy life Bye, everyone <laughs> We all silly like the mayor. 